If you're looking for Mutt Coins to upgrade your Mutt game, go to GameRusher.com for cheap and safe Mutt Coins. You can use my discount code HUB at the website. Use the first link in the description down below and get that upgrade to your game. What's up Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's your boy Kush back at it again with another New York Giants update video. Today's video real quick, I want to talk about a couple of quotes that actually came out yesterday from Joe Judge and Daniel Jones. You know, of course, regarding the Bengals game, I'm not the Bengals game, the Cardinals game. I don't know why I keep thinking of it as the Bengals game. Part of my mind is still thinking about that for some reason. But, you know, obviously coming off the Cardinals game, talking about what went wrong what went right you know the loss and of course you know the, the biggest thing here dj's re-injury i'm getting this uh from giants.com this is actually part of article by michael eisen senior editor and writer and well let's get into the quotes right here so the first one is from joe judge and this is on whether or not he's second guessing the decision to put jones back in or you know that he put jones back in so he says there are no regrets there's no second guessing he said we took a lot of time discussing a lot of things, scenarios with the doctors, coaches, making sure it was the best position for the team. That's the decision we went with and moved forward. Jones made pretty much the same statement an hour after the game. I don't regret it, he said. I felt good enough to play. I felt like I could do everything that I needed to do throughout the game. So no, I don't have any regrets about that. Well, real quick, <laughs> my response to those two, you know what guys, it's great that you guys don't regret it. It really is, but the fact of the matter is you probably should regret it, man. I, I don't know how anybody could look at the decision to put DJ back in and then with, with what happened, you know, with how he basically kind of hurt himself again and he definitely was not fully healthy and you could see that, you know, you use your legs a lot when you throw it. So you can see it in his throw motion. You can see it in the fact that sometimes, you know, where he would normally run out with the ball and, and make a play with his legs, he couldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? Because simply because his body would not allow him to do it. He was not fully healthy out there. And, you know, you risk even something more dangerous happening. So in my opinion, you know what? Fine. Great. You guys don't regret it. You guys are... I don't know what you're thinking. You should regret it, though. You should regret it. I think a judge should regret it. I don't know if judge is trying to, you know... Uh, he he is a very tough coach. You know what I'm saying? He sticks by his decisions. He runs with it. And he's somebody that stays pretty consistent. So I don't know if this is, you know, him making an attempt at trying to stay consistent because, you know, he wants to stay. He's going to own up to the decision to put Jones in there. But I would, I don't know, man. You, you definitely should have a little bit of regret about that. Even DJ as well. Uh, another quote right here. It says, last week, just specified the criteria he wants to see from the Jones and the quarterback met them in practice. We saw he could protect himself in the pocket and move fluidly through the pocket. And like I said earlier, he definitely could not move fluidly through the pocket during that Arizona game. He could get rid of the ball if he needed. If he ate, a, if he had to eat a sack at some point, that was something we were going to go through, go into the game plan, knowing it could happen. Obviously, there are some things that come up in the game. You get hit at the pocket at certain points. He's no different than the other 31 quarterbacks in the NFL. They all deal with the same risks every time they drop back in the pocket. To answer your question directly, he was able to protect himself yesterday. And that's definitely where I disagree with Joe Judge. I don't think Daniel Jones was able to protect himself yesterday. Um, maybe he could have at the beginning of the game. <laughs> then again, on the very first drive, was that sack strip fumble? Or what you know, pocket awareness, the um, protecting the football, that stuff got Collins question. And after that, basically by you know halftime, I think a lot of Giants fans could tell something wasn't really right. The DJ probably wasn't fully healthy. You could tell that by halftime, and I want to say by the end of the qu third quarter, you could definitely tell, all right, he can't protect himself because he's getting hit a lot. He's getting hit a lot, and Daniel Jones is not somebody that just stands there and takes the hit because he's not a statue. He would try and move around and get away from it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? There was time, especially if it's in his face, he would try and move around a little bit. Now, this time around, 
He was literally just taking the hits and like he's looking the guys head on and taking the hits. We always talk about he has terrible pocket awareness. Um, and that that remains true. He did have terrible pocket awareness yesterday, you know, getting hit from behind the side and whatnot. But he, he was getting hit from like directly in front of him and he couldn't really go anywhere just because that leg wasn't allowing him to go anywhere. So I would kind of disagree with Joe Judge there. He was not able to protect himself on uh, Sunday. Judge added, the way he moved in the game was what we expected. We put him through enough practice last week to make sure he was put in a position where he could protect himself. We knew that things were going to come up in the game and some limitations he was going to have throughout the game. We were willing to live with those. Jones said in his post-game interview, the injury wore on me a bit during the game. That was obvious because you were kind of limping before you went out there. Or I should say before, you know, you got out of the field and they put Cole McCoy in, in the fourth quarter. You were definitely limping a little bit. That's it. That's just my opinion, though. If Daniel is healthy to play and he looked all the way he did in practice last week, I have no hesitation of playing Daniel at all, Joe said. And this is in regards to the Cleveland game this Sunday night. We made a calculation. We have a lot of confidence in Cole McCoy. This has nothing to do with Colt, but there's also a commitment we made to Daniel as our quarterback and how we're in this offense. We have confidence in all of our players, but if he's healthy enough to go out there and protect himself and we don't feel he's putting himself in greater danger to be injured worse and he's going to give the team competitive advantage of going out there, then we're going to play him. We have no hesitation. So this right here, I'm a little bit iffy on. I definitely agree and I like that Judd says, you know, he has faith in his players. And I definitely agree when he says, if Daniel being out there gives us a competitive advantage, and if he's healthy, I'm going to put him in. I agree with that. Now, this is what I disagree at the beginning of the call when he said, if if he's healthy and look like he did in practice last week, he'll have no hesitation playing him at all. Well, guess what? Apparently, he looked healthy in practice last week, and I think we all know Daniel was not fully healthy. So I'm going to disagree with Judge there, because if we have him back in this game on Sunday, and I really don't know if he's going to be healthy by Sunday. So I doubt this, but it sounds like Judge is actually planning for that. I'm not going to feel too particularly confident, you know, in, in Daniel Jones and the team on Sunday if he's playing, because I think he really should take another week off for that hamstring. You're, you're really risking a lot here. I would disagree with Joe Judge on that. And that, that kind of scares me a little bit. Um, and another quote by Judge, just because we're going to play Daniel doesn't mean at any time we're not going to have a plan to put Colt in for a certain package or situation in the game. Or we're not going to have a plan for any other player on the roster to at some point be used in a certain situation or circumstance to give us an advantage. Look, all options are always on the table in terms of what we're doing, uh, to, what we're going to do by game plan. But to answer your question directly and simply, yeah, if Daniel is healthy enough to go out there and we think he's not in a greater danger to be damaged or hurt, then we'll play him. I'm going I'm to say this, Judge. I'm going to say this. We're on the part about putting Colton in a certain package or situation, and he says just because we're going to play Daniel, then you shouldn't play Daniel because Colt shouldn't be going out there for any type of packages or situation. If you're putting Colt McCoy there for any type of package or situation, it means Daniel Jones is not healthy enough to be in that package or situation. You know why? Because when he was healthy all year, Colt McCoy never saw the field. So you can't give me, oh, just because, you know, he's out there and he's healthy doesn't mean we're going to put Colt in for some type of trick play. Nah, because it hasn't happened yet. This is about to be week 15 of the NFL season. You're telling me now you're going to integrate a new type of trick play on the offensive side of the ball with your backup quarterback? If you have to do that, then do not play your starting quarterback because it means he's not healthy. But that's just my thoughts on it. But your thoughts down below, guys. Let me know what you all think. I, I, you know, I was very iffy on this whole... I guess this came out of press conference. I don't know. I'm not not sure what Judge is thinking here. Um, obviously, he's still my guy. Daniel's still my guy. But I can disagree with them from time to time. And I think I would definitely disagree with them more so on this one here. But put your, down, your thoughts down below. Let me know what you all think. And I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch you all in the next one.